In late 2022, 26-year-old Australian Shyla Rodden was struck by a roller coaster at Melbourne's oldest and most well-known carnival event. Oddly, the freak accident occurred after the ride was over. Her reactions have been the subject of criticism and heated debate online, highlighting the risks humans will take for material possessions. This is the story of the rebel roller coaster accident. stop up the top and I've just seen the person fall just straight forward and down and I've seen her fall all the way to the ground. Unable to escape, thrill seekers on the ride were forced to wait around an hour to disembark. Organised by the Royal Agricultural Society of Victoria, the Melbourne Royal Show was first hosted back in 1848. Since then, the 11-day event has been held each September at the Royal Melbourne Showgrounds. As an agricultural show first and foremost, in addition to animals and tractors, it's just as well known for food, live entertainment, and carnival-like rides, including roller coasters. With an annual attendance of more than half a million, the show needs thousands of workers and volunteers. Working at the 2022 show was 26-year-old Shyla Rodden. Although blessed with a loving family, supportive friends, and movie star good looks, her life hadn't always been easy. Between 2019 and 2021, she was involved in two separate near-fatal car accidents. The second and most serious occurred on one of Melbourne's busiest motorways. Having collided with a truck while not wearing her seatbelt, she was ejected from the vehicle as it tumbled down the freeway. Although surviving, she sustained several serious injuries and underwent months of therapy before learning to walk again. Tragedy would strike again in July of 2022 with the sudden passing of Shyla's brother. Although crushed by their loss, more catastrophe loomed on the horizon. In September of 2022, not one to let the past dictate her future, Shyla took a job helping a friend at the Melbourne Royal Show. Shortly after 5pm on Sunday the 24th of September, she and a co-worker decided to ride the Rebel roller coaster on their break. Although not huge by traditional standards, the Rebel roller coaster reaches a top speed of 45 miles or 70 kilometers per hour and features a 360 degree vertical loop section and it was one of the most popular rides at the show. At some point throughout the less than two minute ride, the forces generated by the coaster caused Shyla's phone to break free from her pocket and fall to the ground. However, it wasn't until after the ride had finished that she would make a decision that would ultimately change the course of her life. As the next round of the Rebel roller coaster departed from the station, Shyla crossed a safety barrier, walked out onto the tracks, and attempted to save her phone. Apparently unaware a fully loaded train was powering towards her, after reaching to save the phone, she was launched 30 feet into the air after being struck by the coaster, which was moving at nearly 45 miles or 70 kilometers per hour, after which she landed a stone's throw from horrified onlookers. Although unconscious and in serious condition, for the time being at least, she was still alive. In the immediate aftermath of the incident, the ride was closed and a partition was put up around the accident site. Although some onlookers claimed she had fallen from the ride, with the help of cell phone footage, it was quickly ascertained that this had not been the case. The accident had been so horrific that, those who saw it assumed that before long, if not already, she would likely be dead. Shyla was rushed by ambulance to Royal Melbourne Hospital, where she was placed in an induced coma due to the severity of her injuries. In addition to broken bones in her limbs, pelvis, head, back and neck, she had internal bleeding as well as brain damage. In fact, her injuries were so severe that the doctors treating her would later say it was the worst case they'd ever seen. 
the investigation into the accident would be handled by WorkSafe, the Workplace Safety Authority for the state of Victoria. While it stood to reason that Shyla's actions would, and probably should, come under the spotlight, the investigation would focus on where ride operators were, what they were doing, and what safety measures were in place at the time of the accident. But the ride itself was cleared of any mechanical defect that could have led to the incident. On the 27th of September, three days after the accident, the Rebel roller coaster was reopened. This would anger Shyla's family, who described it as shameful. Melbourne Show CEO Brad Jenkins called the incident a tragedy and sent well wishes to Shyla and her family. However, he expressed confidence all required protocols and safety precautions had been met and that WorkSafe would make the same conclusion. Although Shyla and her family were showered with love and support from all across the world, not everyone was sympathetic. For what some called out as complete stupidity, Shyla became the victim of brutal mocking and online harassment for the actions leading to her injuries. American comedian Anthony Jeselnik caused outrage online when he described the accident as absolutely hilarious. During the online podcast Vanity Project, Jeselnik explained how difficult it would be to be hit by a roller coaster because they only travel in two directions. A car, okay, anything could happen. A roller coaster, that's your fault every single time. While many listeners did agree, Others expressed their distaste with the insensitive nature of the mocking. Shyla's decision to walk out onto the tracks is questionable, but according to Naomi Kemp, chair of the Australian Institute of Health and Safety, we shouldn't be blaming the ride operator or the victim. Obviously, Miss Rodden did make the decision to go into the space to retrieve her phone, but from a professional perspective, we need to understand that there is a chance someone may make that decision. Despite the horrific nature of her injuries, Shyla was released from hospital and moved to a long-term care facility in January of 2023. Even so, her family said her injuries were, and always would be, life-changing. A GoFundMe campaign has raised nearly $40,000. The funds will go towards Shyla's medical expenses and ongoing rehabilitation. But in the end, it's a small amount compared to the cost of the constant care Shyla will need for the rest of her life. As of yet, WorkSafe is yet to complete their investigation or reveal if anyone other than the victim is responsible for the accident. Meanwhile, Shyla is not yet able to communicate and it's unclear if she'll ever be able to, so it's possible we may never get to hear her side of the story.